One of uh, some ideas that uh, what we say, what are you looking for? So we are, okay, it's interesting to civil engineers. So there are people saying about aeronautical engineering papers. No, oh, I return them. They, specific in our journal, it's civil engineering. Be an original contribution. And this is very important. People send papers to conferences and then they say, okay, now I have an augmented paper from the conference. No, it's not original anymore. You already presented the ideas. It's not the number of pages that makes the difference. It's the contribution of the paper. Uh, uh, yeah, because people augment the bibliographical research, augment, uh, add some pages, but the core contribution of the paper, it's the same. It's already an old contribution. So you have to be careful when you send to a journal or you send to a conference. You have to be careful that you're losing the opportunity of publishing the paper in a good journal. And not be readily available elsewhere. I already discussed that. And be consistent with the purpose of the society and not contain purely speculative matter. In other ways, say you have to validate. If a paper presents, I, I did something, okay? Prove that what you did really happened and that thing it's really good or better than something else. Things that happen with Asia. English. Okay. I don't know what, but English is still a problem in Asia, okay? To write papers. So uh, the problem that we have as editors and reviewers on the paper re, uh, has very, very uh, English with a very difficult way of us to read it. Okay? Uh, we cannot really read the content because you are wasting our time trying to understand what the author is trying to say. So uh, uh, many times the paper could have very interesting things, but you cannot get to it because you are lost in translation. Okay? So the idea is that, is it important to use a professional editor if you are not confident with the quality of the text? Don't expect the reviewers and the journal to do this for you. So, should ask a colleague in the field that it's a native English speaker to review the paper. Consider using a third party writing expert to help. This is not that expensive when compared to the time multiple rejections will cost. Time and ego. ego okay? People would start feeling very, very bad and the paper could be a very good contribution, but it's not going forward. It's very, very common, okay? And authors have to be honest. Professors have a PhD student. A PhD student did the work. The PhD student graduated and wrote the paper after the, the work was done, okay? And now the reviewers read the paper and they didn't like it. They want more work to be done, okay? They want, oh, you, I want you to test in another data set. I want you to do it again. The student, it's over. The student already graduated, got a job somewhere else, doesn't have access to the lab, doesn't have... So, there is no way that you're going to fool the reviewers. Give up. This paper, it's not going to be published. There is no way. If you cannot do the work that the reviewers are asking, just send a letter, thank you in the journal, and explain, the student, it's not here anymore. I don't have the resources, the grant it's over. I cannot continue doing this work. This is what I have. So I'm sorry if it's not good enough. Let, let moves in, move in different directions, okay? But by keeping it, sending it back, and trying to hide that you don't have the resources to do the work that was done, it's not going to work.